Today, I'm going to show you how to build and deploy a Retrieval Augmented Generation or RAG chatbot with evidence-based capabilities. I once got stranded in an airport because my first flight was delayed by air traffic control. The connecting flight left without me, and the gate agent looked at me dead in the eye and said the airline wasn't responsible because the delay was weather and ATC related. If I had known the exact clause in their 40-page contract of carriage, I might have stood a chance at an argument. But nobody has time to read legal papers on a phone screen while standing at the gate. So naturally, I built a robot to read them for me. So we're building a RAG chatbot with evidence-based capabilities. We're going to ingest messy airline policy PDFs, vectorize them, and let an LLM answer questions like, am I entitled to a hotel if A to C caused the delay with actual citations? We are deploying this completely via code on a managed Kubernetes service on Akamai Cloud using Terraform for infrastructure and just regular old Postgres for our vector storage. If you want to jump straight into the code, the repository link is in the description below. Let's build it. There are a million ways to build a RAG bot today. Here is why I chose this specific stack for production level build. First, the brain. We're using Python with LangChain and LangGraph. We need LangGraph because a real chatbot needs to manage conversation state, remembering what you just said rather than just firing off queries into the void. Next, the memory. You probably don't need a dedicated, expensive vector database for most use cases. If you already have Postgres in your stack, you just use PG Vector extension. It keeps your architecture significantly simpler by keeping your relational data and your embeddings in the same place. And finally, the infrastructure. The whole thing runs on the Node Kubernetes engine within Akamai Cloud. It's super cost-effective, really easy, gives me managed Kubernetes without the massive complexity tax of the bigger hyperscalers. And we will use their S3-compatible object storage holding the raw PDF documents. We will start with infrastructure as code. I didn't want to click around a web console all day provisioning servers, so our entire infrastructure is defined in Terraform. We need a Kubernetes cluster, object storage buckets, and two Postgres databases, one for vectors, one for chat history. To get started, clone this repository to your local machine. We log into Akamai Cloud Console and create a Linode API key. We need read-write permissions for databases, Linodes, Kubernetes, and object storage. Then we need to configure Terraform. Jump into the Terraform folder, copy the example variables file to terraform.tfvars and paste in your new API token. With that set, we run the standard commands, terraform init, plan, and apply. This takes a few minutes to spin up the cluster and databases. And once terraform finishes, make sure to capture the outputs. We run the output command to dump critical data like database connection strings and S3 keys into a JSON file. So protect this file carefully. The next phase is ingestion. The infrastructure is awake, but it doesn't know anything about airlines yet. We need to get our knowledge base documents into the cloud. We're using S3 CMD using the credentials from our Terraform output to sync the local documents folder up to our newly created object storage bucket. Now we move to phase three, configuring the app platform. Terraform created the Kubernetes cluster, but now we need to configure the application layer. Once the app platform endpoint is ready, grab the initial admin credentials using kubectl from the cluster secrets and then sign in to the web interface. For initial setup, allow App Platform to configure its internal object storage using your API key, and then install the Harbor application from the catalog so we have a place to store our container images. After that, switch to Team View so we can manage our workloads. If you have a public GitHub repository, 
You do not need sealed secrets. You can just create a new code repository straight in Akamai Cloud. With the repo connected, head over to container images. So we need to build a container image. So we need to select our code repository and use it for creation of our container image. The next phase takes care of secrets, networking, and deployment. So before the app can run, it needs credentials. We need to add four specific sealed secrets. Your OpenAI API key, the two database connection strings from the Terraform output, object storage credentials, and invent an admin API key for yourself and store it. Next up, there are network policies. By default, pods can't talk to the internet or other services. So we need to create outbound network policies to allow traffic to the host names and ports of our two managed Postgres databases. Now we're ready to create the workload using the provided Helm chart template. You just need to update the image repository URL to match the one that you just built and ensure that S3 bucket names match your Terraform output. To make it accessible, create a service to expose your workload on port 80 so we can reach it over the internet. Finally, we have initialization and validation. The app is running, but the databases are empty. Since the app is running, let's do a quick health check. Grab your service endpoint URL and send a curl request to the API health route to make sure it's alive. The databases are still empty, so send an admin request to the initialization endpoint using admin API key that we created earlier. This installs the vector extension on Postgres and sets up the tables. We're almost there. Now we just need to hit the indexing endpoint to kick off the background job that reads the PDFs, vectorizes them, and fills the database. You can use the returned job ID to check the status. Now, the moment of truth. We need to navigate to our service URL in the browser. It opens up. There is a chat interface. I asked the bot about my air traffic control delay situation. It scanned the vectors, retrieved relevant chunks, and delivered the bad news with citations. We just built a specialized legal expert using Python, Kubernetes, and Postgres that can navigate bureaucracy faster than any human agent. Let's talk about the obvious bottleneck in this architecture. The reliance on an external API like OpenAI. It's great for getting us started fast, but as you scale your rack system, you eventually hit a wall. Maybe the API costs get too much at high volume, or maybe you have strict data privacy requirements where you can't send payload data out to a third party. The next logical step for a production system like this is ripping out the OpenAI dependency and self-hosting an open source model like Llama or Mistral directly inside your own infrastructure. But running inference on those models efficiently requires serious compute power. Since we're already running this on Akamai's managed Kubernetes service, the upgrade path is actually pretty straightforward. When you're ready to own the whole stack, you can provision GPU-based nodes in Akamai Cloud. This lets you run vectorization inference workloads locally, right next to your data, giving you better latency and control and total data sovereignty. So if you're interested in this, check out Akamai Inference Cloud link in the description. If you enjoyed this walkthrough, the code is in the description as well. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Your reality has changed. You're stuck in your career. You're either using AI or being used. Do you still believe success is guaranteed? You feel it's time to wake up. Old strategies don't work anymore. Welcome to the real world. It will never be the same again. You need to fight for your future. Learn to spot truth from lies. I will help you. Together, we will win.
Thank you.